Hello and welcome. This is a Centric Software ClickSign electronic signature demonstration. Let's go ahead and get started. But first, what is Centrex Software? Centrex is a menu of fintech products and solutions that allow you to build an ecosystem for your staff and for your customers. So whether you're a bank, a credit union, a finance company, a hedge fund, a PE company, or you're an organization that offers some sort of loan or advanced product in your organization to your customers or to your vendors, the Centrex FinTech menu is definitely for you. That menu is CRM and or LOS, electronic signature, which we're talking about today, email and SMS marketing, a full calendar system, portfolio servicing or payment processing, syndicate investor and or lender management, a white labeled mobile app for your customers, a website form builder, managed data cloud for custom reporting and our open API for those of you that want to connect to the Centrix software system outside of the Centrix software system, and then of course, software consulting. Okay, let's jump back to the electronic signature portion of the demonstration. Here at Centrix Software, we own our own eSign technology. It's called ClickSign. It is only exclusively used in the Centrix Software product, and you can opt in for it on your proposal if you decide to join Centrix Software as a customer. But first and foremost, if you decide to join us, we are going to take the documents that you require your clients or your lenders or your vendors to sign, and we're going to build them into the documents tab inside the platform. So as you can see here, we have an example application for factoring. I'm going to go ahead and edit this document. And as you can see here, this document was a blank PDF that we uploaded into the software. And then what you're going to have the ability to do is you're going to have the ability to drag and drop different types of checkbox fields or signature fields or text fields onto this document. So when you do send it out for electronic signature, it either gets populated automatically with data or it gets sent out blank and the client can fill it out and sign it. Okay, you've got lots of different options here. So for example, if I want to send out a blank document, I can come in here and choose text input and I can drag and drop this field anywhere I want to be onto this document. As you can see here, we have several built out already. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. You can also add a signature field, for example. That signature field can be edited as well. And you'll notice down here at the bottom, we already have that signature field and co-signature field for any co-applicant as well. Okay, so you've got multiple signers that our system entertains, right? Up to nine different signers on this document or any document you wanna build into the software. Okay, so this is the PDF uploader and this is how we can come in here and edit different types of tags. We have a document tag for every single field in the software that you can pre-populate onto a document. Okay, on the far left, you've also got a lot of different settings like legal state settings, what file type is this for, who do you wanna share it with as far as editing this particular document. Now, what's also kind of nice to know about our eSign technology and document management is we also have something called document packages. For those of you that have different types of documents and you don't want to send each document out individually, you can package up your documents and send them as one electronically signed document. So when the client receives them, they only see one document where they have to sign in multiple places. And then when that gets successfully signed and comes back into the software, we can splice out those documents or keep them as one large document as well. Okay, so you have your individual templates here where you can create the PDFs and drag and drop those fields. And we also have packages. Okay, now, once the documents are done, we're going to go ahead and jump into the contacts tab. We're going to go into our demo account here, Al's Laundry Service, and we're going to go over to Docs. Now, under Docs, you've got all your generated PDFs here. You've got any of your click sign documents you've sent out for eSign with the column for status. So completed, document opened, document sent, so on and so forth. And then you've got all your uploaded files. OK, if we want to send a document out of the Centrex software system to Trey Markle, Al's Laundry Service here, we're going to go ahead and click on generate document here in the top right. You can either choose a package or just an individual template to send out for eSign. I'm going to go ahead and choose this application for factoring. I'm going to say send to click sign. You also have the ability to just open it and view it as well. Generate document. 
Now on this page here, it gives you some template items. Um, you can also send the document for uh, e-sign via text message. So you can choose your phone number and you can choose your template. I'm not gonna do that for now. And then I'm also only gonna send this to one signer. You've got two signers turned on here because there's a co-applicant on file for this contact. So I'm gonna turn the second signer off and I'm gonna go ahead and click on send for signature. Okay, now this is gonna land me back on the contact dashboard. I'm gonna come to docs. I'm gonna come to click sign. And you're going to see here, application for factoring was sent today, okay? And the status was sent. Now I can come over here and I can click on view details. And I can see here, I can void this document if this document needs to be voided, which means the client will not be able to sign it. And or I can resend the notification that the client can't find it in their inbox and it needs to be resent. Okay, now if I jump over to my inbox here, you can see here I have a document for eSign. Here's what it's gonna look like from the customer's perspective. I'm gonna go ahead and review and sign. I'm gonna to agree to terms and conditions first, click on begin signing. And you can see here, this is that document we had in the docs tab. Now I can fill in some of the required fields here. It'll kind of guide me along the way of those required fields. Um, I'm not gonna fill out too many of these open fields here as an example. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the signature box. Now I can either sign this with my mouse or my finger if I'm on a touch screen, or I can type the signature, which I like to do better. And I can go ahead and adopt. And you can see here, it adopted my signature right onto this document. And then I can scroll up, see if I missed anything, everything looks good to me. And then I can finish this document down here at the bottom. Okay, this is going to land me on a page here that says you've been done, you're, you're successfully signed this document. I'm gonna jump back into the CRM. I'm going to refresh this page. I'm going to look at docs. I'm going to look at click sign docs. And you can see here now the status has been completed. I'm gonna go ahead and view details for this. I can see the IP address of who sent the document for eSign. I can see the IP address of who signed it. I can download it or I can view. Let's go ahead and view it. Here is this document as an example. There is the signature and here is our click sign digital certificate on the back end. Okay, when a client electronically signs a document, it automatically reattaches itself into the CRM, sends you a text message and an email that it's been completed so you're aware. And then you can see all the details here under docs, under click sign docs in the software. Okay, now as the customer as well, I'll receive an email, one more email, saying the document's been successfully signed and then I also have a copy of it attached to this email and I can view a copy of it on the Centrex servers as your customer. Okay, so it's a great solution completely built in to the Centrix software platform. For those of you that are ISOs that need to submit to lenders, when you go do a lender submission, that click sign document will be there for you to view. Okay, if you have any questions, you can contact the sales department on our eSign technology. And this was a Centrix software click sign electronic signature demonstration.